Lufkin's small town atmosphere allows so many of us to know one another through our work, our kids, volunteering, and more. And while we want to maintain that small town feel, a group of individuals who are supported by the City of Lufkin and many others throughout the community have stepped up and are looking forward at what the community can be. My vision for Lufkin, um, really for us to live up to our potential, and I say that in that we can kind of get out of the mindset of being a small town, but understand that we have the people, the personnel, as well as the resources to be a city that people want to come to and that people want to be a part of. And for us really to just capitalize on the culture. I like the hometown feeling, but also understanding that we are uh, we're big enough, um, but small enough to make a difference in whoever decides to come through Lufkin or decides to reside in Lufkin. Our Golden Anvil recipients want to create growth and improve the quality of life in Lufkin while preserving the small town feel of the city in which most of them grew up. I chose to live in Lufkin because I was born and raised here and when I went off to college I was exposed to a lot of different things that I saw I felt Lufkin had the potential to be. I live in Lufkin because I love Lufkin. I grew up here, I left for a couple years and quickly came home. I absolutely love the community. I love Lufkin. I like knowing people in a coffee shop. I like seeing people, you know, walking down the street and um, just being able to connect with people in a community way, which I feel like is something that you don't get in a big city. Throughout the past year, several community members have been meeting, planning, surveying, and studying what residents want in order to create a more vibrant, all-inclusive, and welcoming downtown Lufkin, one future generations will enjoy as well as moving our community forward to attract new businesses and residents. Our recipients voluntarily took on the year-long task of developing a plan to determine specifically what needs to occur in downtown Lufkin to attract more long-term generational jobs, stimulate new development, and create new events for the entire community. I volunteer for this project because I'm looking forward to the future of Lufkin. As the Director of Junior Achievement, my job is to prepare our young people to be successful and I want a community that they can love and grow in. I hope that many of our young people stay here locally and, and raise their family and grow here in Lufkin. The group tackled the big question, what is the community's vision for the future of downtown Lufkin? You know, our next generation, they want more outdoor spaces. They want more community, family-friendly activities. They want more diversity in our businesses and our stores and our restaurants. And we want to give them that. We want the next generation to stay here. And they did so with the help of the community through surveys and meetings that reached out to all demographics. The community was involved in every step, and decisions were made based on the discussions and survey answers residents provided. What has come from the full year of work is a set of goals and strategies to achieve a vision of a downtown for all. I feel like differences make a community more vibrant. Funding of $2.4 million was approved by the Lufkin City Council in August for the group's four main ideas convert First Street into a festival street, design, fund, and update historic Cotton Square Park, improve navigational signage, downtown's gateways, and branding, and update Lewis Bernal Park. One of the things that I was pretty adamant on about joining that if we say we're gonna do something, that we make sure that we follow through and did it. And I can speak to Lufkin Ford and saying that everything that we've said we were gonna do from day one, we followed through and I think that's why it's been so successful. Also, it's been successful because it's not coming from one person. It's a, it's a group effort and it's involving the community. And I feel like that that's one of the most important things because I feel a lot of people feel left out or that they're not heard or they have to speak through social media to be heard, which that gets nowhere. But to have the avenue that you can come to a group of people and actually your voice be heard and know that they genuinely care and will do what they can to, to make sure um, your input, your suggestions, or your ideas are least considered. And there is no time like the present to begin moving forward. When I see you know, the assets that Lufkin has already and I see their potential in the way they could be utilized to bring in more business and more people, elevate just the culture 
in general. Just understanding that what we're trying to do downtown is not just about an economic standpoint, but it's about involving everybody and improving our culture as a city, that people have a place to come and socialize, that people have a place to come and spend time with their family, that people have a place to come and, and receive more information about what the city has to offer. As our award recipients reached out to the community they learned just how involved the community wants to be as more than a thousand responded to the survey about priorities and needs for downtown, as well as thoughts on the future of downtown. I think this project is important for all of Lufkin because it speaks to the quality of life. We want Lufkin residents to have a wonderful quality of life. We want them to enjoy where they live. I really enjoy it because we're not just here for us. We're here to actually serve the community. As the Golden Anvil recipients move into the second year of the project, which is dubbed Lufkin Forward 2.0, some will remain fully engaged. New members will come into the group and others will assist from the sidelines. For me, not just Lufkin Forward, but understanding that when you get outside of your comfort zone and we actually give something a chance, that um, the sky's the limit. And I think that's what happened with uh, Lufkin Ford is first, it probably sounded crazy. It sounded like that's impossible. But for those who actually gave it a chance, we actually see that anything to come after Lufkin Ford or anything that grows from Lufkin Ford has the ability to be successful um, with the right people and with the right mindset. The Lufkin Ford team consisted of Stacy Hodges and Ann Brookshire working directly with the city of Lufkin in developing the plan. They met often to accomplish the goals established by the advisory team, which included Ivory Ford, Hudson Henderson, and Tavo Velasquez. I feel honored and um, uh, really intensifies my humility to even be asked to be a part of this. Um, so I'm appreciative of it. Like again, I really like change, and if I could be a, a change agent, then I'm, I'm all for it.